Hello again, everybody. Todd Stewart, the horror nerd here once again from the New Jersey Horrorcon and Film Festival at the Showboat Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm sitting here with Mr. John Carl Beekler, special effects maestro, actor, director, writer, you name it. John, how are you this evening? Oh, I'm just wonderful. How are you doing, man? I am doing great. I'm running out of gas a little bit, but I'm still having a blast at the convention. Yeah, I smelled something, but that's cool. <laughs> hey, I thought I was keeping that under control. I guess not. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, how has uh, how has the day been for you today? Oh, it's great. I love talking to the fans. I love uh, swapping old war stories. It's it's great because you 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 actually get to talk to the people that view your stuff, and that's. You know, I, I always need some sort of indication that I make movies for myself, movies that I think I'd like to see, and it's so good to hear from other people that what I like is what they like. So, yeah, I love this. Awesome. And um, speaking strictly as a horror fan myself, it's great to meet uh, the people that have made the movies that I've loved, you know, my entire life. So Thank you. It's, it really is an honor to even get to sit and, and talk to everybody. That's very kind. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Um, so you, uh, in one way or another, um, have been involved in some of the most iconic horror films of all time, big time franchises. How did you get yourself into this business? Tell us a little bit about how that happened. I robbed a few graves. I did some blackmail. No. All right, who didn't? I mean, uh, you know, as, as a child, I always knew exactly what I wanted to do. I, I think I must have been like three years old. I saw King Kong in black and white on television at home, and I knew I wanted to do that. And as a child, you don't know what that is. Uh, and that is writing, that is directing, that is special effects, that is acting, that's the whole ball of wax. And uh, I pursued it, and I started doing that. And, uh, you know, I've made movies, worked on movies. Uh, in college, I made movies, and then I worked at uh, uh, Technosotic Film Studios in St. Louis, and, and then uh, McDonough and Jones in St. Louis, which is right across the river from Belleville, Illinois, is where I w grew up. And then I finally, you know, everybody said, what the hell are you doing here? You do all these, these crazy makeup things and you direct films and what are you doing here? You should move to L.A. So uh, I got a, a nice movie, made some money. It was called Stingray. I bought a, bought a Datsun B210. And I drove out here, and I hung out a shingle, and I've been working ever since. Fantastic. Um, does it ever surprise you the passion that horror fans have for some of these movies after all this time? <laughs> you know, not really, because I have the same passion. I mean, I grew up with Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman, the Universal Horror Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. And I'm still passionate about those things. If they're on, I watch them. If I, if I call them up and, and, I, and I put it on, I watch them. I love those things. And um, I'm, I'm very fickle. I, I happen to love whatever movie I'm working on at the time the most. But I, I mean, nobody is happy completely with their own work. But you know, when, when time passes and there's distance and you look back on it again, they say, you know, that's not so bad. I, yeah, that works. I like it. Fantastic. So you just made a statement that your favorite movie is always the one that you're working on. Let's take a step back from that. Of the movies you have worked on, do you have a personal favorite? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I love Troll, which is the first movie I directed. I also love a lot of what's in Friday the 13th Part 7. Uh, not all of it because it was raped, as you know, uh, with the censors and with politics studio and all that stuff, but I think I got a lot of what I wanted. I had to sneak around the, the back door to do it, but I got it, and it worked, and I'm here today because it did work. Um, but, in, you know, in terms of movies that you enjoyed making, I got to tell you, 
The movie that I enjoyed making the most was a small film. It was called Curse of the 49er Overseas and Miner's Massacre Domestically. We shot it on a shoestring. We had luminaries like Vernon Wells, Karen Black, uh, Richard Lynch, uh, John Philip Law, all you know, magnificent people in their own time, in their own movies, all of them screen I- icons. And it was a fun movie. It was a movie that had, uh, it was a Scooby-Doo movie, essentially, without Scooby and the gang, where this old miner back in, you know, 18-something was a bastard, and he stole gold, he ate people, and he hoarded all his gold together, and he was tracked down by a, a, a sheriff's posse, and they killed him but they found he was possessed by the devil he put a curse on everybody and so we come to contemporary times and uh, the kids find his gold so they resurrect the miner and all hell breaks loose and it was a lot of fun had great special effects a lot of action wonderful performances I made friends with people on that movie that I, I am close to today and it was it was just fun it was a lot of hard work, but everybody was working towards the same goal. We didn't have a lot of money, but everybody loved what we were doing. And I, it, the production value and the quality of the film is just amazing. Excellent. What uh, are you working on right now? you have any projects in the works that we can tell the fans about? Well, I'm in post-production on a movie called Wizard Dream uh, with uh, Malcolm McDowell and Ernie Hudson. And I'm uh, uh, writing a film and closing a deal on making another film. And uh, I can talk more when I know more. Fantastic. Sounds like you're busy, and busy is good. Busy is very good. Fantastic. So, uh, one last thing. Let's tell the fans how they can follow along uh, with what you're working on. Are you on social media at all, or a website that the fans can check out to uh, keep up with you? Not so much. I, I have a Facebook page as a fan page that I don't really have much to do with. Uh, one of the Facebook pages is not my page, but they don't say bad things about me. Uh, That's good. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not a big social media guy, but um, I'm, I'm over 50, and most people over 50 deal with social media, you know? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I guess Facebook's one way or read the trades because um, when I make movies everybody knows it and uh, sometimes when I don't want them to they know it so <laughs> very good well John thank you so much for thank spending you. a few minutes with me it was a pleasure to meet you and to speak with you um, I wish you the best of luck in all your future projects thank you and have a great rest of the weekend thank you all right, um, John Carl Beekler, everybody, here at New Jersey Horicon and Film Festival in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and we will see you all in the next interview. We better.